What do you mean by the second machine age? The first machine age was the Industrial Revolution, which started late in the 18th century, and it changed human history like nothing else ever has. And the reason it was so important was for the very first time, it allowed us to overcome the limitations of our muscle power and infinitely amplified the power of our muscles. The reason we call this the second machine age is that what we're doing now is basically similarly amplifying, infinitely amplifying the power of our minds, of our brains, via progress in all of these digital technologies, in computers and software and artificial intelligence and robots. All of these things are adding up to bring us into what we call the second machine age. Why is it happening right now? Uh, it's happening right now because essentially after computers have been improving for long enough, we wind up in a very, very different place, a place we have not been before. So to make that concrete, this is the, I call this a phone that I carry around with me. Phone is the wrong word for this. By the standards of one generation ago, this is a supercomputer. It's got that much processing power. It's got so much digital capability built into it and hundreds of millions of people are now walking around with this level of computational power. A generation ago, a few people had access to a supercomputer. Now, hundreds of millions of people do. In a few more years, billions of people will. So when there's that kind of explosion of computational power, we can do things we could never do before. We can have cars that drive themselves. We can have computers that translate among human languages. We can have real powerful artificial intelligence. So this world of, of extraordinarily fast computers and the data that come along with that, that's what's enabling us to make this progress right now. What will be the biggest implications on society, do you think? There'll be two major implications of the second machine age. One is good news. In fact, I think it's the best economic news on the planet. The other is more challenging. So the first one, the good news, is the word we use for it is bounty, is abundance, is affluence. It just means more higher quality, more variety, lower prices in things that we should care a great deal about, in medicine, in health in education, in entertainment, in communication, in the ability to live our lives the way we want and have greater variety and quality and freedom and flexibility. There's, there's never been anything that accelerates our ability to have access like this digital progress does. So that's the good news. The challenging news is what we call spread and that when we think about people as as participants in an economy, as workers. What we're seeing is that some people are doing much, much better and their wealth and their incomes are increasing a lot as a result. A lot of people are barely holding steady and some are falling behind. So we see greater spread in areas that we care a lot about, in wealth, in income, in, in health in a lot of ways. So the phenomenon that we need to spend time on, the challenge that we face in the second machine age, is the fact that technology is racing ahead, that's the good news, but as it's doing so, it's leaving people behind, and it could potentially leave a lot of people behind. That's the challenge that we need to face. How aware are our decision makers and politicians about this phenomena, do you think? It's difficult to stay on top of this phenomenon simply because technology is changing and improving so rapidly that our old viewpoints and our old frameworks very quickly get overturned by reality. So a decade ago, the best thinking was that we would never have a self-driving car. We've got them now. In a world that changes this quickly, it's hard for anybody to stay on top of it, let alone people who have lots of other things to do, our politicians, our policy makers, our decision makers. So the awareness is not keeping up with the pace of technological change. The good news, though, is that we start to see the awareness increase and we start to see the conversation shift. And more and more, the conversations that I have are exactly around what's happening, what are the challenges and what are the things that we need to do about them? So the awareness is increasing. So we, and we are really entering the second half of the chessboard where it really takes off. Is that your opinion? We, the, the crazy phenomenon about digital progress, about progress with computers and software and robots, is that it doesn't improve in a normal linear fashion. It just keeps on getting twice as good, twice as good, twice as good 
every year, every 18 months. Now, after that doubling has been going on for a while, the numbers involved become just unbelievably big, and the progress really starts to seem like it's science fiction. It's not. It's what's always been going on. But suddenly, after this doubling has been going on for a while, the numbers just become so big that our minds have trouble with them. And it really does feel like we're in a different era, which is why we call this the second machine age.